What's up everybody? I am here at Target. I just got my check deposited. So we're gonna go on a little bit of a toy hunt. I'm gonna go hit up Dallas Vintage Toys after this and maybe Movie Trading Company and a couple other Targets. Not real sure what I'm looking for today, but uh, whatever, you know, jumps out at me. I already got the Caliban Wave for the Marvel Legends. Uh, picked up a few other things at the Dallas Fan Expo, so I will show you guys that in a toy haul in a few days. But for now, let's go ahead and jump on in here and see what we can find. Alright, they got the 4 inch Iron Throne, which still seems a little expensive at 24 bucks. That's pretty sweet. Mounted Walker. It's like the most detailed eyes Pops of his has ever done. Let's see. That Jon Snow. The Night King. And another Jon Snow. Oh, they do finally have the Sirion. Some of the loyal subjects figures. Been on the fence about getting these. Some blind bag. Kind of goofy. The 90s is coming back. Hogs. Office space. Let's see. I did not know that's what he looks like. I do like that blue predator. Hmm. Toy store in here. Blind bag. Pretty cool. They got a ton of new Toy Story 4 stuff. Oh, for real? Okay. Nothing. That's a pretty sweet pack. Still don't know how many new X-Men. <laughs> and no new 
DC Primal Age. I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the mall to get those. That is amazing. <laughs> Use your imagination. Some new dinosaurs. And Mega Man figures. Fully posable. That guy's pretty sweet looking. Wave Man. Air Man. Mega Man. Man. Okay, I'm gonna cut this clip because that's annoying as hell. All right, so they had some new stuff in there. Uh, wasn't too bad, but I uh, still can't believe that I haven't seen any of the Marvel Legend uh, Caliban waves at any of uh, anywhere really. I've had to go to the Dallas Fan Expo where they had vendors come in from all over the place and bring them in, but. Uh, I guess I can't complain if I have the whole wave already, but still it'd be nice to see them out in the wild, you know? Uh, we are hunters, by the way. Uh, but they did have a lot of new Toy Story 4 stuff, which was pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'll be getting any of it. Uh, I already have like the old school, in the box, Woody, Buzz, I got Bullseye, I got Rex, Mr. Potato Head, and... I have a slinky, but I don't know if it's the Toy Story slinky dog or if it's just like the old school copy of that. But I'll have to show you guys because it's still in the box. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump over to Dallas Vintage Toys and see what we can find over there. Deer in the headlights. <laughs> How's it going, <laughs> This portion is going to be a voiceover because Dallas Vintage Toys always has awesome music playing that I cannot share with you guys or else I would get a copyright infringement. But that is the least of our problems. We have no problems right now. We're looking at awesome toys. I think these just came in the other day. Pretty sweet. I like that Hercules for show. Got the new Baraka. Pretty sweet. Definitely appealing, but I'm ready for the Storm Collectibles version of that. I haven't bought a Storm Collectible in a while now. Pretty sweet. I do have that guy because he reminds me of my dad. <laughs> Living laser. I just love looking at all these Marvel Legends. I don't think I have that Nick Fury. Shatterstar. Every time I think of him, now I think of Deadpool 2. We got these sweet new Masters of the Universe classics on the old card. Pretty good price, 22 bucks. But I only have the classic classics. Motu classics. Oh, sweet. Loyal subjects. Nice. I haven't found the He Man. Loyal subjects, but I do have the Skeletor, so those are coming with me. A little Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, yeah. It started with Deadpool. Now Cap. 
definitely picking this guy up. Let's see what else we got. I really like the uh, Stormtrooper with the drums. But they wanted way too much for him at the Dallas Fan Expo. Thor. Um, I would say it's my favorite, favorite Marvel movie, but man, now that I've seen... I'm considering Infinity War and Endgame one one movie, and that is pretty darn good as well. But Thor Ragnarok is I can watch that over and over. Pretty sweet. That's awesome. All right, let's check out some Star Wars. Kind of been in the mood to start collecting these again. But there are thousands upon thousands of them. But most of them are relatively well priced but then it's a matter of am I just getting it to fill up space or what but I do I do love it I never got into this cartoon I like the Star Wars Clone Wars but I do like the animation style I don't know what it was That's pretty sweet. I like the card. That's pretty awesome. Chew. Why, hello, sir. Do you fancy yourself a Hellboy fan? <laughs> 1,000 toys, Hellboy. Ooh. Oh. If you fancy yourself a Mezco 112 collector, oh, this toy will accompany that collection perfectly, as it has soft goods, a rubber chest, two head sculpts, three interchangeable hands, mm. and a peacemaker. Oh. Let's see the, uh... Oh, yeah. Ooh. How much? She's a beauty! $104.99. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. All right, let's check out some of the loose... Loose Wars. Is that Zod? Superman? What are you doing over here? I guess I got a bunch of these in the other day. Akbar, Drax, a little bit of everything over here. Oh, I see Snaggletooth. I saw someone did a custom of a uh, battle droid <laughs> that was Captain America, Captain Roger Rogers. I thought that was pretty funny. Ooh, look at that guy. He's styling and profiling. There's the bartender. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Wolfman. Lady Thor. Cap. I'm not sure what all these dice and cards are, but I mean, I'm 
guessing it's for a game. That's pretty sweet saying, man. But I haven't played any Star Wars games. Could be cool. That's sweet. Alright, we got some good stuff. There's Ezra. Definitely ready for the Black Series Ezra. Oh, Masters of the Universe and DC. Oh yeah, I need to add to my Green Lantern collection. It's been a while. I don't think I have those guys. Nebula. Valkyrie. She looking good, girl. Ant Man, Black Widow. Do, 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 do. Lady Thor, great figure. Ooh, gargoyles. A little bit of dragon heart for you. Gotta love everything dragon. Mummy. Whoa. Who is that guy? He's pretty creepy. Oh, there's a smoker. I gotta go good with my, uh, Legion's characters. Is that Kubo? I don't know who that guy's from. If you know who this guy's from, let me know because he is amazing looking. It's a pretty good deal on that Turtles vehicle. Some. Daleks, Wind Raider, a little bitty Spock, or is that Spock's dad? Got a ton of classics in. Man, they look good all together. Army ants. Never got in for the army ants. That's pretty sweet. This makes me want to organize my collection. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, Wampa. All right, let's show off some of the vintage. I've been neglecting the vintage lately. I still have two or three more figures. General Lando, a man of man, and I started thinking about it the other day. I want to say like Pop Poplo, the Ewok. But I have to do an inventory. I like that cardboard playset. All right, and here are some of the new animated Batman figures. That one's pretty sweet. It's Scarecrow. I love the style of these. It's like they took them right out of the cartoon. Two-Face. And then my absolute favorite, Grey Ghost. How awesome is that? All right, so I left Alice Vintage Toys and came back home because as you saw, 
Uh, that Hellboy was pretty darn awesome. I'm gonna have to go back and pick that up, but I needed to trade in a few toys. This is only like my second, second or third time ever trading in toys. And gosh, I feel weird about it because actually I bought those toys in the first place because I wanted them. I saw something in them that I really liked. Um, or else I wouldn't have gotten it. But there were a few things uh, trying to build a Build-A-Figure or a Build-A-Figure itself that really doesn't have any meaning for me anymore. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll show you what I'm going to be trading in for the new Hellboy figure, which is $104. Normally, I would have went ahead and picked that up, but uh, I think I told you guys before that my rent went up quite a bit which isn't really a problem i was getting away with murder before um but yeah you gotta make adjustments part of life so let me go ahead and show you and you can tell me if it's a good deal or not uh but yeah here it is all right so we got the marvel select beast trading it in because I got the new Marvel Legends, which I like the aesthetics of that better. So I'll be trading him in. The new Citizen V, who I had to get to make the Thanos build a figure, I believe. Uh, we got Man-Thing here. He does look awesome. This is probably the one that I'm most hesitant to get rid of even though he's probably not the most expensive, but he just looks awesome. But I just haven't read any comics or seen any shows where he's just like, oh man, I love that character, I need a figure of him. So, him, the select Hulk that the articulation isn't too great on, but the paint and sculpt is, as you can see, very awesome. So him, Red Goblin, This one, I'm kind of like, oh, I'd rather not, but to get the Hellboy, I'm like, okay, I'm much more connected to Hellboy than I am this. Plus, I have two other larger centuries. And then, the one that people are probably going to be like, whoa, are you kidding me? But this Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster, awesome as it is, um... I've actually seen gone down in price a little bit, and also I made a custom of the Jack Specific, uh, which looks incredible, and I'm super proud of it. And it's a little bit bigger in scale and everything, so. So those are the figures that I am going to be trading in for the Hellboy figure which I can guarantee you is only going to go up in price. Uh, so I think it's a pretty good deal, but let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to go pick up that Hellboy figure. Peace. All right, I just picked up Hellboy. I'll let you guys take a little sneak peek before I bust it out of the box. And be sure to check out the toy haul so you can see a mini review of this Hellboy figure. It is pretty sweet. Alright, I thought I was wrapped up, but I went ahead and jumped over to Madness to avoid a traffic accident on 35. So it was a good thing I did because they had some pretty cool stuff. I got a few pictures of some of the stuff they had in there, but I did see uh, the new vintage carded Yak Face in Bausch Leia. Uh, who else did they have? Klaatu and someone else maybe just a trooper or something but they looked really really cool especially the yak face that's like my number one go get it kind of thing but um it was 20 bucks so i went ahead and passed on that i will go ahead and look online to see if i can find it cheaper but i'll show you guys the uh, comics that i did pick up i've been reading deadly class 
since it came out so very excited when these come out because it is an awesome series so much so that they made it into a tv show um there it is right there but excellent excellent series and also got my aquaman it's a pretty sweet cover right there get that glare out this one's pretty cool too uh, and number 46 aquaman pretty sweet i've been liking this series a lot so that is what i got so far be sure to check out the toy haul as i mentioned earlier and i will talk to you guys later bye please be sure to like share and subscribe